What's up YouTube? This is Lizards821 here. And today I'm going to show you how to fix a multitask multitasking glitch in iOS 4.2.1 for iPod Touch 2G as well as iPhone 3G. Basically, what this glitch is is when you want to launch an app from the multitasking tray. For here I'm going to use Safari. And then I'm going to load up the multitasking tray and switch to settings. Instead of actually switching to settings, it will respring. Now, of course, multitasking is not native to the iPhone 3G and the iPad Touch 2G, but as I am jailbroken, there is a way to activate it. However, in iOS 4.2.1, there seems to be this glitch. And whenever the iPad Touch or iPhone respringes, you then have to restart the springboard again because you're in safe mode so you have to respring twice and this is fairly annoying so today I'm going to show you how to fix that glitch so what you need is of course your iDevice and as well as a Mac or PC because we need to SSH onto the device so in order to get SSH what you need to do is open up Cydia and once Cydia loads you could just simply search for open SSH and tap on it and then install and confirm that once that is done you can simply hit return to Cydia and go back to the home screen now what we could do here is install something known as Cyberduck for Mac and there is a Cyberduck for Windows Beta that's out that you could use and you could also use for Windows WinCP or Win yeah that's what it's called what you need to do here in order to SSH is on the iPod Touch or iPhone connect to the same Wi-Fi network that your computer is on or the same router that both computer and iPod touch is on what you need to do here is go into settings and then into in the Wi-Fi click that little blue arrow there and you'll see IP address now of course I'm going to cover that up for obvious reasons but just simply uh, remember that number or take a screenshot of it or whatever we need that number for later Alright guys, so once you have installed Cyberduck on your Mac or PC, or if you're using WinSCP, whatever it's called, the WinSCP connection is a little different, just Google what you need to connect to, but for Cyberduck, it's SSH, so just Google the WinCP. Now for Cyberduck, what you need to do is open a new connection, and choose SFTP, SSH, however, like I said just two seconds ago, it may be different for WinCP. Now, here's where you need to type in that IP address that I told you to remember. So, I'm going to do that right now. Now, I'll just leave the port uh, just the default. And for the username, type in root, R-O-O-T. And for the password, type in Alpine. And this is the default SSH password. I highly recommend uh, changing that password further down the road. And then simply hit connect. And it's going to find some stuff here. And, of course, if it ask you to allow the connection simply hit allow because you obviously want to do that and now you're in SSH so on the iPod touch or iPhone here what you really need to do is make sure that the device stays connected to the Wi-Fi network it doesn't go on sleep or whatever that way the Wi-Fi stays connected to your computer otherwise it will disconnect from SSH so once we're in SSH you're going to navigate to the little slash thing which is the uh, first directory And then once in there, you're going to navigate to slash system, library, and core services, and springboard.app. And now we're going to look for, look for a specific plist file. Now for the iPod Touch, it's different from the iPhone, and I have a little cheat sheet here. For the, iPod, for the iPhone 3G, it's N8. And for the iPod Touch 2G, it's N7. I've already done my iPhone 3G. Right now, I'm using my iPod. So I'm going to look for N7. So I'm just going to scroll through. There it is, N7AP.plist. And you're going to double-click on that to open it. And it looks like we're going to transfer the files here. I'm going to allow that connection. And now it's complete, and it's going to close that folder, and we're going to open it. Mine was put into my downloads. And there's the plist file. So what we're going to do here is look for that symbol there, key multitasking that. Now, the, most of these are in alphabetical order, but some of them are not. 
And if you don't have it, which I do, I have mine here, you're going to simply copy and paste it into there. That will be in the video description because you need to have that in there. Now we're going to look for something that says key of the, that, that key. And we're just going to search for that. And there it is, a blank key. And it should say dash one. What we need to do is backspace the one and type in two. And then type a command S or press command S on a Mac or control S on a PC to save the file. And you can simply close it out. Now, if it saves to the same destination, what you need to do is just simply drag it back into slash system slash library slash core system slash springboard dot app into the entire directory, not into a specific folder in the directory and allow the transfer back into the device. If it asks you to overwrite it, simply hit continue because that's what we want to do. And your transfer is complete. You can simply disconnect the device and respring your iPod Touch or iPhone. Now all you need to do here is respring your iPod Touch or iPhone and you should be good to go. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.